Hey, what's up guys? So I've done a series of videos showing you me trying to restore antique wooden boxes with Howard Restora finish and Howard Feed and Wax. And uh, I'm just gonna show you this example as well. Now, um, every single one I do is different than the other. It depends on how badly degraded the wood is, how damaged it is, how much scratches and surface wear and veneer wear and paint wear it has to it, how it comes out. Now, the better condition it is, the better it comes out. This one is in pretty toasty condition. And what this is, is this is an antique, um, very, very late 1700s tea caddy box. And um, it's actually um, from probably about anywhere between like the 1780s to about 1820 in age. And that's how old it is. And as you can see, it's pretty worn. Um, the finish is coming off. Some of the veneer is chipping. We have surface scratching. We have uh, some crackling. And uh, But it has beautiful, beautiful wood. And I just want to make it look better. So what I'm going to use today is something called restore a finish by Howard and instead of having to strip the wood and uh, going through a whole bunch of processes to make this look better um, this actually helps to make the wood look better it's not a fix-all <laughs> but we're gonna give it a try now the feed and wax is part two so after we do the restore a finish we use this polish which is made out of beeswax and orange oil um, it penetrates the wood gives it a nice shine and conditions it so let me take that one away for now um, in order to actually apply this to your wood, you can use one of two things. You can use an old beat up like t-shirt, rag, cotton towel, um, or a steel wool pad, a very, very fine steel wool pad. You can get them anywhere, any hardware store. Um, this is actually a better method for using really, um, for applying it to really damaged and heavily scratched and stained woods, especially if you have stains and water rings on it. This actually buffs that out and it helps to uh, make the restore finish um, actually be um, drunk into the wood um, and it helps uh, feed your wood better with this pigment. So it comes in all different colors. I chose mahogany for this one. So what you do is you shake it up really good because it has pigment in there and you want to really distribute, uh, distribute it really well. And I'm just going to take the uh, cap off. Of course it's childproof there we go I think <laughs> oh my goodness it's not idiot proof though all right there we go and you can see it has a pigment a very nice dark pigment and how I'm going to apply it is I'm going to place it on my steel wool like this so now we got enough of the uh, pigment on the steel wool let me place the uh, restore finish down somewhere we definitely don't want it to spill. And uh, let me show you how it works. All right, so you don't really want to press hard. You want to give it enough resistance um, to have it penetrate, but not too much. And you want to go with the wood grain as much as possible. It also helps to dust your wood and clean your wood as well. And you can see I just did that top part. And look how much better it looks already. Now you have to be careful if you have antique wood, you don't want the veneers to actually uh, chip off and crack. You have to uh, go gentle and uh, move slowly, but methodically. Now you really don't want to get these knobs. I'm going to do my best uh, not to touch them if I can uh, avoid it. Now if a little gets on it, it's really not going to do much damage, but I'm just trying not to get the knobs. And you got to be careful if it has like little pieces of nail sticking out, the steel wool can get stuck on it. So here's uh, half the box, half of the front of the box done already. And you can see it has a beautiful, beautiful shine and it just darkened up our wood. I'm going to finish the rest. You're supposed to leave it on for 30 minutes and then we apply step two. Stay tuned. Okay, so I applied the Howard to the whole entire piece. And as you can see, it's really, really shiny. Um, it has like an oil slick on it. And what you need to do is you have to wipe it off. So let me show you how to do that. So you get the little t-shirt or cloth. Hang in there one second. 
And I just go with the grain of the wood in the direction. And I hear my neighbor screaming next door. Hope the husband isn't doing domestic violence. And so far I don't hear gunshot fire. Very good. All right. So now what we need to do is we need to leave this on for 30 minutes, let it penetrate, and then on to step two. It's looking better already. Okay, so 30 minutes is now up. And I'm just going to show you uh, how nice it's coming out. And uh, look how much darker and richer the wood is. Look at that. Okay, so now we're on to the feed and wax. Now, uh, generally, you can put this on with a fine steel wool pad if there's still a lot of scratches on it. Um, an old beat-up t-shirt, a rag, or I'm going to use a paintbrush. And I notice um, on certain pieces with delicate areas, like a veneer that's like a little chipped or cracked, or little pieces of nails that are sticking out, this is the easiest way to put it on. So what I did was I shaked up my product, or I shook it up. <laughs> that's really bad English. And I'm going to just put it in this little cap here. So I can dip my uh, paintbrush in it. And um, you have to put this on um, really generously. Not just a little bit, but a lot. And we're going to let this, um, after we put this on, we're going to let it soak in there for 20 minutes. And then we can wipe it off uh, to get that polished shine um, and that uh, lacquered look. I'm going to need more of this already. This thing is very thirsty. <laughs> That's the thing with old wood. It's always very thirsty. And uh, this is what the product looks like. And you can see it's beeswax and uh, oil. Orange oil to be precise. I'm trying to um, put a lot of this product on. It doesn't matter. You can put as, uh, put a, like large dollops of it on. You don't have to worry about putting too much. Putting too little is more of the concern. And you might see it like it's a little bit like a... Uh, uh, what do you call it like blocky you know blotchy and you see like chunks of like wax um, all over the place that's fine because we want this stuff to really penetrate this wood and so far you can see a really beautiful shine and you really um, want to Go with the grain of the wood in the direction of the uh, pattern of your wood. I'm going to need more of it already. This stuff is, I'm not kidding you, liquid gold. By now, most of you probably hit the back button. You're like, oh my God, this lady is just so boring and she's not interesting at all. But um, if you appreciate antiques like I do, this may be a very, very informative video. And you may thank me. I don't know. There's going to be in the description below a link to the product, to the actual products, um, so you can actually uh, purchase it yourself. Again, the... Uh, Restore finish comes in all different colors, which is great. Okay, so now also, like, you'll see, like, little pieces of the veneer that chipped off. I could also touch that up with a furniture pen um, when this is all dry. Okay, so now we have our product on, and you can see it has a beautiful, beautiful gloss and shine. We're going to leave this on for 20 minutes, wipe it off, and then it should be done. And I'll show you the... Uh, uh, I guess the progress. All right, so stay tuned, I'll be back. Hey guys, it's about to start pouring rain, but I wanted to show you how it came out. Look at that. Look at the shine. Doesn't this look a hundred times better? Oh my goodness. It's like a whole new box, look at that. I am thrilled with it, guys, look at that. All right, so in the description below is a link where you can buy this stuff and restore your antiques and all your wood. So long, guys, and thanks for watching.